All right, right at the top, please. Begin with dear Mr. Cochran. All right. My understanding is, Detective Furman, you have never held in your hand a piece of paper on which these words are written. You've only discussed it. That's correct. Now, you notice in the second paragraph, it says that the author glanced up at the television and was quite shocked to see that Officer Furman was a man that I had the misfortune of meeting. You were on television prior to this summer in connection with this case, were you not? Yes. And your uh, testimony as a witness, you learned, was quite widely watched in the state and others, did you not? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> You notice that the author says that she has left a message on Mr. Cochran's answering service. Yes. Okay. Next paragraph, Mr. Harris. Between 1985 and 1986, she says she worked as a real estate agent in Redondo Beach for Century 21 Bob Maher Realty. Now out of business, period. Number one. When you were at the recruiting station, did you become acquainted with a Century 21 real estate office located proximate to the recruiting station? Did I become familiar with the fact that there was such an office? I think uh, there was one on the second floor, yes. Did you have to go through the office to get to it or were there separate stairs? I don't remember that at all. Was there a coffee shop close by to these two offices? A coffee shop in that uh, small shopping area? Yeah. Not that I remember now. You don't. Okay. <clears throat> Did you ever determine whether or not in 1985 and 6 a Kathleen Bell had been employed at the office described in the letter? Confirm that she had been employed there? No. I never knew a Kathleen Bell, no. but no. no. Did you ever make inquiry after you learned of this letter to find out whether there was a Kathleen Bell employed, as she says, at that time at the Century 21 office? I did not. Did you cause your lawyer, Mr. Turtolo, to do that? No, I didn't. And did you cause your investigator, Mr. Pelicano, to do that? No. It's Pelicano. You know how Pe it's Pelicano? We all know how it's pronounced. I see. All right. Did you cause him to do that? No. Okay. To this day, do you know whether or not that part of the claim is truthful, that she worked at Century 21 and 85 and 86? Yes, I know that she does. Okay. Or did, I'm sorry. Do you know whether or not she was known to the Marines that you met when you went to the recruiting station on several occasions? Then or now? Do you now know? Yes. And the fact is, she was known to them, correct? Yes. All right. Oh, well. And you say that on one occasion, a woman whose description you cannot dredge up in any detail may have been in the office, and you're unable to say whether or not that was or was not Kathleen Bell. Is that correct? That's correct. All right, next paragraph. At the top, please. In 19... 85 or 86, were you a police officer in Westwood? I worked the footbeat, yes. In okay. Westwood, yes. So that if she heard you say that, that was the truth. Correct? Speculation sustained. Right. Were you a person who, while in the Marine Corps, had been in some kind of special division? No. All right. Did you serve in Vietnam at all? Not in country, no. Not in country? I was on a ship. Okay. But it was called being stationed in Vietnam, right? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Did you say, while in the recruiting station, at any time during those years, that when you see a nigger, Driving with a white woman, you pull them over. No. Do you recall anyone asking you 
If you didn't have a reason to pull them over, what would you do? I don't recall anybody ever asked me that question, sir. Did you ever make the statement that if you needed a reason, you would find one? No. Okay. Next paragraph. Did you say at any time in that recruiting station, in the presence of any female, including Kathleen Bell, that you would like nothing more than to see all niggers gathered together and killed? No. Are you aware, bottom of the page, of any complaint that was brought to the LAPD by this individual? I am not aware of any investigation, no. But you are aware that she has appeared on public television and made essentially these same claims, correct? Yes. Have you started any lawsuits against her? No. Have you brought claim against her for defamation? No. I see. All right. Now, you told us yesterday that you do not know, as I understand it, an Andrea... Terry. That's correct. Can you recall at any time a blonde woman suggesting that she had an attractive but tall friend? No. Do you recall at any time in the presence of Joe Foss being asked by a woman if you were interested in a date? No. That never happened that you can recall? No. Is it the kind of thing that you would remember if it had occurred, being asked for a date in the presence of Joe Foss? I think in the presence of anybody, if I was interested in the woman or it went farther than that, I think I would, I would probably remember it. Let's assume you weren't interested. You said, hey, you're not my type. Brushed her off. Would you remember being invited on a date if it had happened there? I would say not. Okay. Would you remember, Detective Furman, if you had used the language that we have just reviewed? Yes. That is important enough language to you so that it would impress itself on your memory as did the meeting with the Simpsons in 85. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. You told us yesterday that you do go into Hennessy's tavern. Yes, sir. You do not have a recollection of the name Andrea Terry being there? All right, we're on Andy Terry oh, now? Yes, yes. Right. Mr. Harris? Take it down. You don't remember the name Andrea Terry, a woman over six feet high, or a woman in the company of someone you now know to be Kathleen Bell? No, I do not. Did you have a conversation in 85 and 86 in Hennessy's Tavern with a tall woman wherein you said that black men who have white women in their company are violating an act of nature? No. And that you would arrest them whenever you saw that occur? No. That did not occur at any time? No. And is that the kind of language or expression, Detective Furman, that you would remember clearly if those statements had been made? Yes. So as of the moment, you would say that if either Kathleen Bell or Andrea Terry claims that you made those statements, that would necessarily be false? Yes. And that if Joe Foss... The Marine says that he, in fact, introduced you to Kathleen Bell outside the recruiting station as she emerged from a coffee shop, and that the two of you talked about a date. That would necessarily be false. That's correct. 